Hey everybody, this is Alicia Katz Pollock at RoyalWise.com and welcome to my latest installment of Look What I Found, where I show new features in QuickBooks Online that are going to make your life easier. I'm a big fan of usability and when the interface is just honed in and improved so that it works the way our minds work. So what I wanna show you today is a new feature called Pay Down Credit Card. First, before I begin, I want to show you why it's kind of important that to me that they made this new feature. It's all about usability. So for a bookkeeper, knowing how to move money to the credit card, you know, there's a couple different ways of doing it. For the business owner, it doesn't make sense to them. You see business owners who will take their credit card statement and they will make one expense to the credit card. And then on each line item, they'll sit there with a calculator and say, okay, this much was parking and this much was meals and this much was office supplies. And it takes them tons of time. And then they get to the bottom and the balance doesn't match because they hit a wrong key somewhere along the line and they have no idea which line is off. And then they start over again. So the correct way of managing your credit card in QuickBooks Online is to connect it to the bank feed. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. So here we're looking at Wild Style Construction, which is my sample file for, um, for QuickBooks Online. And you can see here that I have my Chase card that ends in the numbers 5-0 here. And I can see that um, when I click on received in the bank feed, here are all of the payments that I have received. The one that I'm going to work on with today is this one from December 31st of last year for this $10,000. Now, when I look in my checking account, I can also see that here's that same spend and that was moving the money to the credit card. Traditionally, there's two ways of doing this. One is to go up to the new button and make an expense, but you can see that this is kind of time consuming because now I have to say that I'm paying Chase from my checking account on that date uh, and I have to put it to my Chase card and there's just a whole lot of margin of, of error for doing it this way and a whole lot of steps. So this isn't my favorite way of doing it. Another way that people will also do, and it's the way that I generally do it or up until this point have done it, is to go up to the new button and chosen transfer and then just said, I'm taking money out of my checking account and I'm using online banking to pay off my Chase account. And then the amount of money that I'm transferring and the date of the transfer, I just pressed Y to get to January 1st and then minus to get to the day before. So this is what I have been doing up until now, but now I don't have much detail at all. So the new feature has a happy medium between the two, and the best part is that it makes sense to the business owner. And that is to go up to the new button, and then over here on the far right, we have pay down credit card. I'll click on pay down credit card, and now it wants to know which card did I pay, okay, Chase, my Chase card. I paid $10,000 on, Y, oops, Y to go to the beginning of the year minus to get to the last date. Or of course you can just type in 1231.19, that's fine. And what did I use to make the payment? My checking account. If I am actually writing a physical check, I can say I made a payment with a check. I can put in the check number or print later to add it to my print queue. I'm gonna uncheck that because I did pay everything electronically. I also have a place to write in a memo if I would like to write in a memo and you can even add an attachment to this. So you could take the PDF of your statement and drag and drop it into this credit card payment. So now I have everything that I need there. You can see that it's really streamlined, but still very feature rich. And then I will save and close. And now when I look in my bank feed, I can see the credit card payment there for that $10,000. When I look at my Chase account and I go to received, notice I can sort on all these. I don't even know if you knew that you could sort in your bank feed, but I love doing that. Here's the match right here. So I'll go ahead and match. And so now with this new option for um, pay down credit card, it couldn't be easier to make credit card payments. It doesn't matter if it's a payment in full, partial payment, several payments, doesn't matter, but if you use this routine every time, it's going to be completely clean. So if you enjoyed this video, this is just one snippet of my course, 
uh, credit cards in business, where I talk not just about how to keep track of your credit cards in the company, but how to take credit cards as well. I even go into the detail on what to do with sub cards. So if you have a corporate card with sub accounts, I have a whole section on how to manage those properly because they're not easy. If any of this is of interest to you, find me on royalwise.com. Look for the credit cards in business course. Let me know how I can help. So this is Alicia Katz-Pollock from royalwise.com with my latest installment of Look What I Found. Let me know how I can help you with your QuickBooks online training, and I'll see you in the next class.